Hey guys, welcome back to Homesteading with the Heberts. Today what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, barrel and we're actually going to be turning this into a chicken water. Alright guys, so this barrel is a green olive barrel. We got it from, um, anyway I picked it up, um, but it used to have green olives in it. What I like about this barrel is it has a twist off top. Be careful, it's going to stink and it's sticky. Alright, it's got a twist off top. Oh, I found it. And, As you can see, it is just green olives. Don't, don't smell it. So, this is a food grade barrel, but what we gotta do before we do anything is we gotta go ahead and clean it out. And kink it? Yeah. Woo! Can I tell them to go watch the other video? Yeah. Go watch the other video that we just had done. Um, we had just said. So, yeah, go ahead. But, um, we just did a video where we just fixed the hose, like two minutes ago. Go watch that video, and go watch the one where we made Lord Farquaad um, comb fish. That is that better? It was yeah, it's fine. I wanted to make sure I had a twist top. The reason I wanted a twisting top on this is because 
because I'm tired of having to use that other water for the winter time. And I want to turn this into a heated water. But in order to do that, I needed a lid that I could take off to drop the heating element inside. And we're going to rinse it out one more time. We just want to make sure you guys get this smell out or um, get anything bad out of it just in case like, there's bugs inside or something really bad in there. You want to get it out so then the chickens don't eat them. So you can find the bugs in there because you just don't eat bugs. But you also want to wash it out from using our soap because it's poisonous to humans and chickens. Alright guys, so it's getting pretty dark out now. I mean, it's getting a little darker. It's getting really cold. Me having my hands in the water, they're cold now. So we're going to continue this tomorrow. Um, so, we'll continue it tomorrow. Alright guys, so it's uh, the next day or so, um, and we're going to continue the project on the water. Now, all I did right now is I just put it up on two blocks. I did that to get an idea of the height that I want to put my chicken nipples at. And I think I'm just going to put them right, right along here. All we're going to do to turn this into an automatic water is we've got four horizontal nipples. We're just going to drill a 5 sixteenths hole in four different places. Now, I'm just going to check the inside, make sure we don't have any shavings in there. We probably do. Which we got, we got one in there, so we're just going to dump it out. Gonna take the chicken nipple. No, no, no. It's 
good. This is the right side. You gotta push as you screw it in. A lot. Until it starts to catch the plastic. Then it'll just screw right in. Alright, so we got the last one done. Now we're just going to bring it and put it into the chicken coop before I do. I'm going to put the cap back on. I'm just going to go ahead and clean as this long, spot right as here. Long as you take off water. Alright, so we're going to start by putting two bricks down. If I didn't have a bruise and my, my body was in full coverage, I would. Only because I'm a bruise. move this eventually for now but that'll that'll work right there Alright, so we just turned the turned it on. I hear the water running in. Alright guys, thanks for coming along with us today. Um don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like and leave some comments. Have a good day.